Okay, good morning. My name is Sam Chung, and uh, I am a professor of ceramics at Arizona State University. It's my great pleasure to uh, introduce Michal Pushinsky, who um, I happened to meet about three years ago. And um, he's a faculty of ceramics at the Academy of Fine Art, uh, Art and Design in Wrocław, Poland. And apparently, I'm the first uh, American ceramics professor to visit his school, which is a, a one, uh, yeah. pretty, pretty, pretty yeah, amazing uh, facility, probably one of the best um, uh, f art facilities I've seen. And um, <clears throat> how does a Korean-American ceramic artist make it to Poland? Well, my wife happens to be Polish, so we were pointing <laughs> in his direction saying, you need to see Michał. And um, every time I, I get in touch with Michał, he's in another part of the globe, which is um, pretty amazing. Uh, he also happens to be an Aikido master, so don't mess with him. <laughs> At any rate, you'll see Poland's filled with a lot of amazing uh, ceramics, and um, I will just let Michał take over from here. So please uh, welcome my friend, Michał Puszynski. Thank you, Sam. Uh, okay. Uh, thank you so much uh, for the possibility to be here. It's my third time at NCK, uh, but the first time I'm doing the lecture, so... I'm kind of a little bit nervous. Please forgive me my language, my English. It's it's not perfect. Um, yeah. So I'm the professor at the Academy of Fine Arts in Academy of Art and Design in Wrocław, Poland, and uh, I'm also managing the residency art program there. And um, it's like uh, this lecture will be about the contemporary Polish ceramics and about uh, Polish artists. And but the first, uh, I want to uh, tell you about the Academy of Art and Design, where I work, because I believe if you meet any Polish artist or around the world, you know, just it, it, he has somewhere connect to our academy because it's the biggest, largest program of uh, ceramic in the central in the East Europe. And uh, so somehow all the ceramic artists from Poland are uh, or the graduated or, the, or uh, has some contacts with us. So that, that I would like to start with the uh, presentation of the academy. And I just need to, okay. So first a few words about the Wrocław and, uh, and where, where it is located. So Wrocław is located in the western part of the oh, western part of the country. Uh, it's the fourth largest uh, city in Poland. Uh, we got like three hours driving to Prague, three hours uh, driving to uh, Berlin, so it's very well located. It's a really beautiful city full of the uh, beautiful old architecture and also a uh, number of the tourist attractions. Uh, Wrocław was has very turbulent history and it was uh, for many times changing the 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 the, 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 the country. So that, that was Russia, uh, that was Prussia, Bohemia, Austria, Hungary, and Germany. After the Second World War, it came uh, become again Polish. And very important is this the uh, Wrocław is the capital of Lower Silesia region, which is extremely rich for the natural uh, minerals for the uh, ceramics. So we got like if we if I drive like one hour or two hours away from Wrocław, I can find the, the quarries or the uh, factories which produce the the ceramic materials. And we got uh, uh, like six different kaolins, maybe five different feldspar there, uh, dolomite, uh, stoneware clay, white stoneware clay, and uh, ball, clay, uh, ball clay. So it's everything is in this region, and that's why uh, uh, for centuries the ceramics and pottery was developed there. And, uh, and also at the, at the 18th century, the porcelain factories, glass factories. Uh, was uh, was established there, and after the Second World War, um, that was the need to to establish the uh, real education for the for the ceramic and glass design. 
So on the base of the craft school, which exists since uh, 18th century actually, uh, that the faculty of the ceramic and glass was established, was, uh, was established and that's, that was the beginning of the Academy of Fine Arts. And you can see there the different names of the same place and exactly in the same place uh, the, the school is, exists now still. So when I was a student, we are going to the cellars and we can find the crates with the uh, ammunition crates, like the full of the glazes and the other things, you know, molds from the, I don't know, 100 years old. So it was just really crazy. Um, so the, for this last 70 years, the school undergone uh, lots of changes and it looks completely different today. Um, but also, it's, it's like, I want to just tell you a little bit about the structure of the um, higher, art, higher, higher education in Poland. It's different than in States. Uh, our uh, campus or the university or the, 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 the art academies are independent university. They are not belong to the big uh, universities like here in states. They're usually located in the old town in the middle of the city because they're the historical. And, and uh, so education is free. The students don't pay for the, for the education. They don't pay for firings. They don't pay for materials also. And we are a part of the uh, mm, system which calls the Bologna system, which uh, encourage all the European countries to strip the same higher education standards. So our students can really go to other ca European countries by exchange and they get the same grades or the same credits and they can transfer to the to back to Poland. So we had lots of students from different country, European countries and hopefully we will start also this same program to exchange with the American students. Mm. So here are the, some historical picture, and it's what's going on right now in the studios. We got four main uh, faculties, uh, uh, which are the ceramic and glass, and uh, printmaking, and graphic and printmaking, uh, design and interior architecture, and. Uh, uh, painting and the painting and sculpture. So there are around 1,200 students all in all university. There are some pictures from the ceramic. And 2012, 2012, uh, there was a third building added to the our our uh, campus or our place. And this is the, the Center for Applied Art. And we, will, we were lucky because we, as a teachers, as a professor, we were able to have an impact for the way how they built this building. So we were co-designing uh, according to our needs. And also because it was like a, a big EU grant uh, for the um, uh, which covers the building and the facility. So right now we are um, probably the best equipped uh, workshops and laboratories for the ceramic, for the glass, uh, and also for uh, for interior design, for the for design uh, in the west in the East Europe. So we get this huge blau gas kiln and lots of space to, to build the big sculptures and also we can fire, we fire, we are doing the prototyping and firing the porcelain. We cooperate with the factor, porcelain factories in Poland and uh, our students are doing the molds and the, the, the prototypes for the porcelain factories in Poland. So we, we just fully cooperate and we then Uh, one hour away, one one hour driving north from the university from Wrocław, uh, we got also the place uh, which is the center for so ceramic arts, 
and we got the uh, outdoor big wood fire kiln. It's like a uh, more than 10 cubic meter. Uh, we are firing this this beast for five, six days sometimes uh, for 13, 50 um, Celsius, <laughs> uh, like content, 12, content, con 12. Um, so I'm running this program actually for 11 years already. I was the pioneer of the wood fire ring uh, in Poland because I've been working with the Korean artists in Switzerland in, 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 in La Bourne in France and also in Korea. So I, so I wrote, wrote this technique to Poland and actually built the first wood fire kiln uh, 20 years ago in Poland, this type. Uh, so. so right now I just want to present you some artists from Poland and there will be like 10 names. Uh, uh, there are lots of good artists in Poland doing the ceramics and, or, the, or artists which are uh, executing the, the projects in, in, in ceramic or the, but so I, I just have to pick up the 10 person and uh, uh, it's a pity always because I would like to present like 20 or 50 and they would be all good. <laughs> so uh, there are people from different generations and uh, um, people which are having impact for this, what's going on right now in the, uh, in Poland, uh, it was ceramic. And I hope you know some, you will know some names, you recognize some names. So that's the professor, Kristina Sibinska, and she's like a living legend. She's a senior professor, and uh, she's still working, actually. She has a small studio in the, at the in academy, in a, in a campus, and uh, she's every day coming and uh, working and building her beautiful uh, works, beautiful vases, hand built. They are sometimes they are quite big, like one meter twenty, one meter fifty. They are all hand built, right? Coiling method, and uh, she developed lots of beautiful glazes. Uh, sometimes I am asking her how many kilometers of the coils you you, you blend, you know? She just smiling, because <laughs> like, it's amazing. And she's every day in the studio, actually, still. So this is amazing, like. Uh, that's another person, Marek Cesula. I, I don't know, probably you know him. It's, it's kind of the guru for design and uh, also for the art project in ceramic in Poland. But he spent lots of time in States and also in Israel in, in the, and uh, he's been doing the, the creating and doing the, the, the projects uh, all around the world actually. His works are in Victoria Albert Museum in London, in the Museum of Fine Arts in Houston and the Museum of Art and Design in, in New York. And he was a curator of the many projects which, uh, which bridge the art and ceramic and design. And the, 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 so, so he, he is like a, a really person uh, who has a big influence for this, what's going on is in design field, on design field in Poland, but not only design. I, I asked him to send me some pictures of his work, so he decided uh, to send, uh, to, to show the, uh, his installations. So that's the fragmentation, uh, the, the project that he's doing uh, for a couple of years. And that's the series of work with the material used as a porcelain scraps thrown away as non-valid derbies in production of tableware. Uh, the remains on, uh, of recognizable porcelain shapes with the fragments of decoration serve here as a raw material for creation of the new ceramic works. So, bay, so
And that's another of his uh, interesting installation. Uh, so he's from Kielce. He came back after many, many years of traveling and living in the States and Israel and in, in, in uh, Brazil, came back f uh, to Poland. And uh, he's very uh, much connected to this place. And uh, so this, this installation was, he found lots of, lots of old pictures of the, the town. He made a decals out of the, 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 the uh, of these pictures. He printed and, uh, and uh, uh, fired on the porcelain. Then he broke it and he put it into one box to everyone who is sit on the bench who can just pick up the, the the, the faces or the or the places and build up his own story out of this. Okay, move on. Another person, Adam Abel. He he is a professor also in uh, our academy. And uh, he's quite known for his uh, um, for his works, uh, which combine actually the clay and the animation and the video installation. So he's he's uh, head of the department of interdisciplinary activities, uh, the faculty of the ceramics, and. By working with dis different disciplines like video art and animation and ceramic, he is trying to find the uh, really new ways of the expression in a, in a, in a both these disciplines. So I just want to show you the some. So sometimes he's creating the the, the three dimensional models of his works, and then he's building them into the uh, he's transferring them into the into the ceramics, but the other way around. So sometimes it's very, very complicated to, to I mean, uh, his works are very fragile and uh, and he's running very interesting program with the students about this, uh, using the video works or the clay as a medium for the, to play with the, with the, to make the video works or the animations. Okay, another person, Stanislav Brach. Uh, he is a sculptor, actually, re, uh, graduate from the Krakow Academy of Fine Arts. Uh, but right now, he's, uh, he is head of the ceramic department in Warsaw. So he, he's, one, he's not graduate from our academy, but we are doing lots of projects together, and he's a really good artist. And uh, um, I want to just present this. This is, this is one of the, his recent projects. This is like flowing with the honey, and this is the series of the installation where he used the uh, honeycomb. You know, he made the honeycomb, and uh, he used them as a as a mold for the porcelain because his brother and his family they are producing the honey, and he was just rising this kind of the. Uh, place where it was lots of honey and uh, honey, uh, it, 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 and he just started to use the honeycomb as a plaster, as a mold, to to slip uh, the porcelain, and he built a beautiful installation with the porcelain and gold to just to rise that to highlight the honey as a real, real gold of the of this of nature. So by, for this, he won the, the, the award in the Taiwan as a couple of years ago. So we can see that's the honeycomb with the, with the porcelain. Okay, Bożena Saharczuk. Uh, she's working in a, in a in a pottery wheel studio because we got different studios for different in a, in a, in a ceramic department. We had quite a lot of 
faculty members, and we get the different studios for the, it. We get studio for the big sculpture projects. We get drawing wheel studio. It's not like in states; it's everything is one in one studio. We get separate studios for different things. So he is a head of he's 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 working at a pottery wheel studio, and he's cre she's creating, sorry, <laughs> she's creating really beautiful organic objects. Sometimes they are quite big, and. Uh, it's very sensual and and beautiful uh, works. She's she's doing her own glazes, and very often she's cooperating with me because she loves the her works to put in the wood fire kiln. So, and I love to put her works in the wood fire kiln. So they are quite big sometimes pieces. The pit fire porcelain, and that's the picture from the museum where she she plays the her pieces next to the really uh, historical works. Okay, so a few words about me, and I'm I was born in '76, and uh, I'm I'm creating the sculptures installation but my background actually is is wood firing and uh, that's a big that's a that's my uh, identity <laughs> when I, I started doing ceramic when I was 15 because uh, we got this high school of our ceramics or the, for the craft so I started loading and firing kilns when I was 15 and then I pass exam when I, when I was graduated from this I passed an examines and I got to, to the Academy of Fine Arts so I was uh, graduate also from the Academy of Fine Arts, then I did my PhD, and I got like say the full academic education. But I also got another education, which was I was for for years I was working for the Korean artists, as almost like a slave, you know, <laughs> uh, in Korea, in Switzerland, in 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 La Bourne, in France, because Saint Koyang he has free houses and free kilns, so I've been traveling and. Uh, Okay, ten minutes. Okay, <laughs> good. Okay, so, so that's 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 how I uh, was able to introduce the wood fire ring to Poland. So I just want to show you some pictures. I will try to make it. I think okay, we'll be we'll be okay. Uh, <laughs> so that's my works, wood fire, and uh, like. A couple years ago, I started work really, really in a big scale. So this is like maybe two meters high works. And because of the new facility, I'm really able to work in a big scale. <laughs> uh, so I'm, I'm, I'm firing those pieces in a gas kilns. And for the really big one, I'm building the uh, fiber kiln around. So, and we use the wood firing method to, 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 to fire this piece. Works. Another person is Monika Patuszyńska. And she is a quite known uh, artisan curator. She's doing um, things all around the world. And uh, her works are, you can probably see in, a, in every competition all around the world. And she many times got a award. So she is casting porcelain, but in very interesting. She has also, of course, graduated from Academy of the Fine Arts. <laughs> uh, she's casting porcelain, but in a very interesting way, because she's first making the big mold out of the plaster, then break it many times and remove the pieces from inside and then assemble all those pieces again and pour the porcelain uh, inside. So it's like every time she's, what she's doing is kind of the random and accidental thing. But she's, of course, she controlled the process with the. Uh, Mateusz Grobelny, uh, that's the new generation. He is, a, of course, graduated. He was my student, actually, and, and a good friend now. And 
Uh, he is a uh, head of the International Center of Ceramics in Bolesławiec, and he is running the residency program there, and um, and he's uh, doing the uh, organizing the symposium every year, and he's specializing in building huge fire sculptures. Uh, which consists the, the, that's like a kiln, the sculpture and performance, and they are really, really big, like five, six meters, some of them, and fired in the different festivals in Europe, in Poland. He was showing this in the, uh, these works in Faenza and uh, in Aberystwyth Festival in Poland, and he also constructed a kiln, uh, a mobile wood fire kiln, which works very well. We call him sometimes like he is our. Uh, Polish Fred Olsen. <laughs> he's probably that he knows. Yeah, he's the most experienced person about the wood firing and about the constructing this 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 installation in Poland. Another young person. She was also having the classes with me. Uh, she's a friend, uh, Alicia Patanowska. Uh, she's a designer. An artist, she was graduated from Academy of Fine Art of Arts in Poland, but also Royal College of Art in uh, in London. So she was doing different things, uh, different actions. I just want to tell you that Take Art was uh, was she made a two around uh, two semesters she produced one thousand pieces in porcelain, and then she made an action in a in a in a gallery. She said that everyone can come during the reception and take one piece. Free, so in three hours, all gone, and the people. That was really crazy because people thought it's a hidden camera or the prank, some kind of action, you know. And she's no, no. This is like you take, you can take art, your home, and the people were. The reaction of the people was really, really amazing. It was great. That's another her installation of Mice and Man by Johnston Beck. She, she. She cooperated with the porcelain factories for her projects, so that's why she can get a lot tons of the porcelains. And that's plantation, uh, actually. That's that's. Uh, that, so she, when she was living in London, she would start uh, looking for. She realized lots of glasses and the potentially dangerous objects are thrown away after the, every morning after the Friday night or something. You can find lots of glasses potentially dangerous and uh, you know the objects will, will be thrown away so she started to collect it at I'm sorry okay it will be like I have to it's end <laughs> uh, and she's thrown the, the the porcelain things on the on the top oh, this is the last person okay. <laughs> uh, let me just finish this Janina Mirinova, and probably you will know the, the, the her works also. She she's she's regular winning the contests and the competitions in different places. She's everywhere with her beautiful figurines, which are funny, but sometimes when you look at uh, closely, they are very ironic and uh, uh, there are double lots of double meaning in her works. Okay, this is the last picture, and uh, this is the view from the, our window from the studio. And uh, because this year we are starting the international residency partner, and this this view will be inspired view I hope for our residency uh, artist who I see here, God, <laughs> Forest, I see. Uh, so. Yeah, I hope we will do some more things with the future with the U.S. Uh, universities and the galleries. And the, yeah. Okay, thank you so much.